Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, another very important statistics interview questions is that what are the different sampling techniques and give us some examples. So this is a really important statistics interview question and this was recently asked in one of the interview for one of my subscribers. So I thought of making this specific video. Now remember guys, uh, there are various different kind of sampling techniques. Now let me just give you a perfect example of a sampling technique. Suppose uh, guys, we want to do an exit poll. So I hope everybody knows what an exit poll is recently in West Bengal election, right? Uh, the news reporter made some kind of exit poll saying that how many parties have won how many number of seats, right? So that can be an outcome of an exit poll. Now, how does an exit poll usually happen? Now, just imagine that uh, this is the entire population of West Bengal, you know, and it is very much difficult to go and ask each and every person like which party you have actually voted. So what does news reporter news channel do that they try to pick up sample of data sample of people from this particular population and then they try to record their particular statement saying that for which party they have actually voted and based on that they come to a conclusion okay wait party a has got this many number of seats party b has got this many number of seats party c has got this many number of seats right so this kind of observation will definitely come up now understand one thing guys this kind of technique where we are picking up samples randomly is called as the random sampling technique so the first one obviously with respect to random sampling technique okay random sampling technique so this is the first one that we usually discuss and this is how you know you randomly select some kind of samples and you do some kind of conclusions with respect to the population okay so this is my population and this is my sample. Okay. Now the second type of sampling technique is something called as stratified. So if, uh, and remember guys, it's the stratified sampling technique. Also you have seen in, uh, you know, uh, in a technique where we basically train our model, you know, we do the train test split in a stratified manner. Let's discuss about the stratified uh, sampling technique. Now what does stratified sampling technique means guys? Recently, you saw that in the West Bengal exit poll, right? They were saying that some party will win, but actually it did not happen, right? Probably uh, they were saying that BJP will have the maximum number of seats. Uh, probably they will be winning it. But after the final result came, they saw that uh, again TMC was having the highest number of results, higher number of seats. Now, what may had happened? Just imagine because this entire exit poll became wrong, right? right it may be now what may probably had happened guys suppose if they are picking up suppose just imagine the entire population is 100k right and they were trying to pick up a sample of thousand people at a time and they were recording the uh, statements that were given by the people for which party they have actually voted now when they are taking this particular hundred people probably they have they have considered uh, 700 or 800 men recorded statements and remaining 300 probably they are picking up women, right? And now they were recording this specific statements. They were coming to know that, okay, which party may win. But what is the problem over here? The problem is that guys, the, the samples with which they were actually picking based on the gender, you know, is like seven is to three. Sorry, let me make it three. So it is something like seven is to three. Now, obviously, if you are trying to pick up the samples with this particular ratio, this may become completely biased right it may become completely biased and because of that because of this particular biasment what may happen is that you may not get a proper output or pro proper uh, inferences based on this entire population right so whatever samples you have actually collected probably it may get completely biased you know but and that is definitely it will be completely getting differentiated when you get the real result so for this kind of technique, we use something called a stratified sampling technique. Now in this, when we are picking samples, we may provide the ratio as 50% is to 50%. That is nothing but one is to one. So the ratio will now be one is to one. That basically means in this thousand samples that we are picking, 500 will be men and 500 will be women. And when we observe this particular statements, when they, when we observe whom, which party they may vote, then we may get an exit poll which will be pretty much accurate right and this kind of situation may also happen and usually in democracy understand this situation is always there guys you should always try to 
take a sample which will be uh, able to again uh, provide a good equal proportionate of male and female unless and until in a particular state you don't have many number of people if it is not equally represented then i think you can go with random sampling technique but if it is equally represented you may then go with stratified sampling technique okay now the third technique which is basically called as systematic sampling in systematic sampling it is pretty much uh you know very much easy suppose i go to this particular equation and i select that every 10th person that i will see i will try to record the statement like which party this particular guy has actually voted so that is called a systematic sampling technique okay where we we are just selecting the nth person and every nth person will try to select every 10th person i see in this particular location you know i'll just try to record the statement and probably the number may be 1000 so 1000 people for every 10th person i'll try to check it out okay this is called a system sam system sampling technique now this can also be used in this particular case now the fourth one is something called as cluster sampling technique now cluster sampling technique is pretty much uh, amazing just understand guys this will be working based on some domain okay cluster sampling technique let me just give you an example probably i want to do a survey based on ai field okay i want to do a survey whether ai will uh, with the help of ai will the will be people losing job where there will be more jobs so some kind of survey i probably i'm doing i'll make sure that i'll make sure that the person who should be filling this particular survey should be an expert in the field of ai expert in the field of ai should be an expert in the field of ai now when i am able to do this understand that this particular sampling technique is called as cluster sampling from the entire population what i do i just pick up people who are familiar with this domain knowledge okay that is what we basically do in cluster sampling okay so these are the four common types of sampling techniques this was requested by one of my subscriber guys and uh, whenever i used to teach statistics whenever i teach statistics i usually cover all these particular topics uh, when i'm explaining them because this will definitely make your base strong now why this may be important is that tomorrow suppose if you are given some problem statement in machine learning the first step is that you need to collect data okay you really need to understand for what kind of problem statement you are actually solving the problem is it for a domain specific problem statement and most of the problem statement are with respect to domain specific problem statement tomorrow even though i have seen some people who are who are doing their masters right they usually say to actually put up a survey and they try to take everybody data even though that particular uh, survey is not important for other people okay they may be with suppose i want to do an ai survey right and i really want to solve some use cases in ai so i'll make sure that i'll try to do this particular survey and i'll try to uh, tell the people to actually participate in the survey who are good at in this particular field who has some amount of knowledge in this particular field so i hope you like this particular video guys uh, this was it uh, with respect to what are the different sampling techniques on uh, statistics again try to do it uh, from your side guys and try again this may be a very important interview question for you all so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed i'll see you in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye